What's going on YouTube? This is Kevin here, here to review the Budget Gadgets USB High Speed USB 2.0 Hub. Now, although it is a mouthful, there is actually not much to talk about this USB hub, so this will be a pretty short review. Uh, the one thing of this features that caught my attention was the fact that it is white. Yes, indeed. It does look Apple-esque. It does have that white uh, plastic that surrounds pretty much the whole thing. And that's pretty much, sadly, the only thing I can really boast about it. The rest of it, in terms of usage-wise, isn't very good. There are three huge things that, well, two huge things, and then one kind of not thing that really uh, prevents me from recommending this to a friend. So first of all, I should say this thing costs $2.77 from BudgetGadgets.com. Link to the website will be in the description below, so go ahead and check them out if you so want to. Some of their stuff is good quality, but this one I found in particular wasn't very good. Um, the name itself says High Speed USB Hub, and this is simply not high speed. I tried to transfer like a one gigabyte file from my flash drive while plugging it into this. It definitely was not the same speed that I would get if I just plugged my USB drive into my computer's USB ports and then transferring the file from there. I compared the two times. There, one was pretty much, well, with this hub, transferring through the hub, it was like three quarters or half the time. Or not, I should reverse that. Uh, my, my bad. If I plugged my flash drive into my computer, I got half or one third of the time that it took for this thing um, compared to this. So this is like one, like a half to one to, no, one and a half to two times slower than a USB 2.0 hub. That's what I'm trying to say. So not very high speed at all. Kind of turned down um, my first impressions of it. The second thing is that it doesn't handle multiple devices very well. You can see here there are four ports, one, two, three, four. And the thing is that it says four ports, but only two of them are very usable. What I mean by that is I tried plugging multiple devices in to see if indeed um, somehow all four things would function. I didn't get past the third one. Actually, I didn't even get past the second one. I would plug two flash drives in here, try to plug another one in, could not access this third flash drive. So flash drives, even though they have, like I wasn't even accessing any files from them, not even transferring stuff, just plugging them in. I couldn't even get the third one to mount. And it's not just low stuff. Like if I, pl I plugged in my webcam, and I plugged in my microphone, which is the Snowball, into here, and I got those both working fine, but once I plug my flash drive into this third slot, cannot access my flash drive. And it's not just this port, I tried various combinations of the ports. They all work, but you can only plug in two things at a time, so that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a four port USB hub. So that really, um, really prevents me from saying, I like this product, it's very good, because it's not very good at all. And the construction is subpar. A few days after I started using it, this happened. And you know, this is one like one of like every tech guy's fear is seeing the bare wires underneath the plastic insulation. That happened relatively soon. Um, I can see that this part is starting to become like that, but not as badly. And the construction overall is subpar. Now, this tape, I actually put that on there myself so I could attach it to something. So that's not like because it was breaking. I sealed it up. I just want to clear that up. The construction is pretty subpar. It's not something that I would expect from a USB hub. That's four port high speed 2.0. So overall, I would rate this probably a two out of 10, mainly because it does allow you to extend your functions to two devices, but that's pretty much it. The speeds aren't even very great at all, so that's why it's a two, pretty low out of 10, but that, that's my honest um, review for it. So I'm sorry, Bella at Budget Gadgets, for giving this such a bad review. Uh, but I want to thank her for still signing this out to me for review. Guys, go ahead and check out BudgieGadgets.com. They do still have some pretty good uh, stuff on there if you look for it. Granted, some of the more budget things that cost under 5 bucks may be a little bit um, subpar from what you expect. But this is a Chinese wholesale um, website, so you know, take it as it is. But that is pretty much my review for the Budget Gadgets uh, USB High Speed 2.0 Hub. I want to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.